Good morning guys, this is Oki, Surfing Turf Metal Detecting. It's Sunday, September 25th, 2016. Sorry I'm being quiet. It's still pretty early, about 6.30 in the morning. And I'm going to hit this uh, open field here. As you guys remember from one of my other videos, um, this is part of an old, old baseball field. Um, football field still is a baseball field. Um, but I did find a silver ring actually right here. Uh, we're standing found some wheat pennies over there and I know from an old map That uh, there used to be four house places over here The problem with this is this is a really busy busy part of the part of the city um, I, You know, this is so wide open. It is public property. I'm sure it's been pounded before but uh, You never know so I'm gonna get out here and check it out All right first find of the day. It's a mystery item it's only about three inches deep. I thought it was a tax token at first. Oh, actually, I know what it is. It's a watch face. <laughs> so there's the face to an old watch. First find of the day. Right on. Let's keep going. Second find of the day tells me I'm in uh, I'm in the right spot. That's an old uh, ceramic. You see little pieces of broken ceramics. It's a mason jar lid. So. Yeah, maybe I'll slow down a little bit right in this area and see if I find anything. Third find of the day, about four inches deep, is a coin. I see it. It uh, probably a Lincoln Memorial or something, but uh, it's pretty shallow. There's a lot of people walk through here still. Uh, you guys see anything on the back of that? I don't see Lincoln Memorial. Oh, with my eyes outside the camera. I see one cent. So there's a wheat penny. It's not bad for the third find of the day. I'll take it. Woo! -hoo. All right. This may turn out to be a pretty good spot here. Uh, about five inches deep. About four feet away from the other one. Let's see what I got. Looks like another penny. Oh, and that's a memorial. That's not what I'm looking for. We got another penny signal. Pretty deep. Problem is this soil. This isn't the native soil for this area. So let's see if this is a weedy or a memorial. And it's gonna be another memorial and I scratched it. See it's green, that's a close one. Huh. Yep, I think there's fill in this little spot. I'm gonna have to go back to where I was finding the can lid. Hey pop quiz everybody. What's 1144 at six inches deep in Washington State? Yep, that's right. <laughs> it's a Washington State tax token. Oh well, I'll take it. I will take it. That's another one for the year. This one's in pretty decent shape. It's a little bent. I probably did it with a shovel. But uh, it's pretty clean compared to most of them. Most of them are pretty rotted like that right there. So sweet. Washington State tax token. I'll take it. All right, pretty close to that tax token, probably about 10 feet away. We got a pretty deep, deep, deep signal, probably about seven inches deep by the time, I, you know, I dug down there probably, yeah. No doubt this is gonna be a wheat penny. You can already tell it. Oh yeah, there it is. One cent. Sweet, two wheat pennies and a tax token for the day. All right, guys. Hoo -hoo. Yeah. So, before I show you what I just found here, um, the reason I hadn't put on a video in the last couple weeks is this has been slim pickings, man. I'm talking like a handful of wheat pennies and a bunch of garbage. And I've just been in this really funky slump since I found that Walker half, man. It's just, it's just like, all right, that's all I'm giving you for a while. So, <laughs> uh, I just broke my streak. I just broke the slump I'm in, I mean. So, I'm staying away from that area over there. See where that tree is right there, kind of out in the middle? That tree, everything past that tree towards the sidewalk, I see there's a big hump going down to the sidewalk. Uh, and it's all fill, it's not native material. This light colored sandy stuff, this is, this is native material. I was getting a perfect spot on the money. Whoo, 
look at that shine. Spot on the money, 1246, just textbook, textbook. <sighs> Got silver dimes, probably rosy as shallow as it is, but uh, let's see. Oh man, it's a Merc. <sighs> it's a Mercury dime, that's a cool one. Oh, it's 1942, it's not bad. It's pretty clean. In the sandy soil, you know, like I, I, I don't know if I've told you guys before, but man, the, every, every silver that I found in the sandy soil has just been beautiful. You don't really have to scrub the crud off of it or nothing. The wheat pennies are kind of crappy. Man, that's great. Awesome, awesome. Woohoo! I got a coin. Deep one. Super light. I've already picked it up. And remember what I told you about what the most tax tokens look like? That is what most tax tokens look like. The thing I'm thinking this may not be a tax token, it may be an actual trade token, is I'm not seeing a hole anywhere in this crust. So I may have got a trade token here. But it's definitely, it's, yes, it could be a good, it could be a good four token. But most likely it's going to be a Washington State tax token. I'll clean it up with the wrap up. Sweet. That's not a bad day. All right. A little bit by that tax token. Got myself another wheat penny. It's a red and green one. <laughs> I love the greenies. That red's kind of an unusual color, huh? It's pretty. Not bad shape. All I did is kind of rub it on my jeans a little bit and my fingers and it came right up. I thought it was another memorial. I've been digging memorials deep. Okay. Well, cool. What we got for a date on there? 1950 something. Hmm. Cool. Well, not that old. But man, it's crazy how high these Canadian pennies scream, man. It's like 1970. It was screaming like a silver. Huh. That's weird. Oh, that's my second weedy, second uh, Canadian of the day. Another mason jar lid. Pretty deep. Too bad there's not uh, jars attached to this full of silver dollars. That'd be sweet. Hey, it's all right though, man. That's a good day to dig, and I'm almost done though. I only got about another 20, 30 minutes, and I'm gonna start working my way that way towards the bathrooms, towards the uh, the baseball field. I I'm kind of thinking this is where the fourth house used to sit. Is right in this area. So I'm gonna see. And the next item is really deep. I don't know what that was. It's like I had some type of lid or something that's still kind of on there and it's got some type of writing. Something K, whatever. Um, hmm. I don't know what that is, but I know it was screaming. I'm just wondering if there's something in there. I'll find out at the wrap up. All right, guys, it is time for the wrap up. Man. It was a pretty good morning. You know, wasn't a super long hunt. Uh, definitely got me out of my slump I've been in. And I know you guys have all been in a slump before and how frustrating it is. And, you know, luckily my slump was only about two weeks long. But, uh, hey, it's long enough, man. Um, definitely a, a good confidence booster. You know, I uh, also showed me a couple things about this spot that I've been researching and and everything else for a while and I uh, have found Wheaties in there before did pretty good on Wheaties today actually ended up with six Wheaties for the day um, now that I looked at the back of those a little closer so um, I think two of the four houses that were sitting out there it's under some fill uh, but the other two I think it's pretty close I mean I was digging some pretty deep targets but uh, some of these things um, you know, a lot of my targets were around four inches deep. So next time I'm going to go back through, probably go the other direction with it and uh, see what I can find. So here's the, here's the stuff for the day. Um, quite a bit of targets, quite a bit of trash. I uh, got a bunch of can lids and other types of caps. Yeah, there's nothing in that one. It's just like some type of cap that got smashed. Um, it's all brass stuff i don't know what kind of it looks pretty old 
Um, some of the stuff I did find, like those old can lids and something like this, is is definitely a good sign that you know I'm onto an older spot and but then your usual trash. Um, bunch a bunch of copper copper pennies, a couple of zincs mixed in with there, but a bunch of copper pennies. So I did get over a buck and change today. That little watch face, that was the first thing I found today. It's not that old. And, uh, and then there's my, my good stuff for the day. 1942 plain Merc. That's going to clean up really nice. Um, two more, <laughs> my favorite, two more tax tokens, uh, Washington State tax tokens. Six Wheaties, pretty good. Best day I've had in a while for wheat pennies. Two Canadian pennies, man, those things ring up like silver. Three more keys from my key collection. And uh, that's it. So anyway, so there's a video, guys. It was pretty short. Um, just thought I'd get something out there. I've been getting a couple of messages from you guys, making sure that I'm still alive. Yeah, I'm still alive. Um, just like I said, it's been pretty tough hunting the last couple weeks. So there you go. Right on. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll definitely be getting out next weekend. So um, I do got some big, big plans coming up in about three weeks. And, uh, man, I'm so excited. I can barely sleep uh, being so excited about this. You guys are going to dig it. I'm going to dig it too, man. I'm, I'm nervous, but, man, I'm stoked at the same time. It's just going to be an awesome kind of a trip of a lifetime. Um, so anyway, I'll get back to digging somewhere next week. Again, thanks guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Remember, leave the place quick.